for stores. Forrester Research says online sales are expected to increase 12 percent to $371 billion, accounting for 10 percent of overall retail sales. FedEx is expected to win EU approval for its $5 billion acquisition of Dutch counterpart TNT. That would make it Europe's second biggest delivery service business. The deal would also strengthen FedEx's position as the world's number three player. Lockheed Martin and United Technologies said they expect to finalize Lockheed's acquisition of Sikorsky Aircraft by the end of the year. Tanya Hansen, CNBC Radio. There are no guarantees in love, but there is a guarantee from EH Plus by eHarmony, our new personal matchmaking service. At EH Plus, your own personal matchmaker gets to know you so well, we can guarantee introductions that will be satisfying and exciting. EH Plus goes far beyond regular online dating sites, and that's a guarantee. Visit us at ehplus.com slash love or call 1-855-930-LOVE. As the owner of a sock shop, there are a few things I can count on during the holidays. No one will know what to get their dad, everyone will decide at the last minute, and they'll decide on socks. And now, thanks to the Postal Service, my customers will know exactly when dad socks are delivered, which is nice, because it's the only thing the poor guy is going to get. Introducing real-time delivery notifications from the U.S. Postal Service. Now your customers will know right when their packages arrive. Another reason? This is our season. The U.S. Postal Service. Priority you. U.S. only. Most notifications transmitted within a few minutes of the delivery scan. Consider this your invitation to sell. At buysellmakeoffer.com, you can sell as much as you want for the next 60 days without paying any fees whatsoever. Sound incredible? It is, and it's true. Buysellmakeoffer.com is the new exciting way to sell your stuff online. Make extra money right now. Sell your old car, furniture, video games, household items, clothes, even your home. Sell anything that's legal. Load up your stuff to sell right now at buysellmakeoffer.com. This is your official invitation to get on board to sell your stuff right now free for the next 60 days and once you see how easy it is you'll want to sign up for more because there are no item fees that's right take this opportunity to move items from the other guys and sell it for free you might even win a samsung tablet amazon gift cards and other cool prizes buy sell make offer.com is the future of online selling you can use skype to talk to your buyer or seller plus you can use video to showcase your items buy sell make offer.com Good afternoon. It's 12.03. I'm Di Rice with the only live local news here in the Inland Empire on KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. A woman trapped inside her car by chest deep water during a flash flood that swept her vehicle away was rescued Sunday in the desert near Nevada. Firefighters responded at about 9.30 in the evening to report to a report of two vehicles stuck on the shoulder of Highway 95 between the I-40 and the Nevada border in Needles, about 30 minutes from the San Bernardino County Fire Station. Other than being extremely cold, wet, and terrified, the victim was uninjured. The flood was brought on by a strong storm miles away, pushing the vehicle 45 feet downstream. The woman had only been identified as a 67-year-old woman. And two people seen rummaging through a trash bin in the middle of the night in Loma Linda were arrested early Sunday after San Bernardino County Sheriff deputies determined that one was a wanted man and the other was carrying a stun gun while on probation. David De La Cruz Chavez, 32, and Obed Ariano, were uh, 29, were found in an apartment complex in the 25,500 block of Prospect Avenue. Ariano initially gave deputies a false name and was in possession of methamphetamine. Also had two warrants out for his arrest for grand auto theft and was on probation. Both men were booked into Central Detention Center in San Bernardino. Inland Empire weather. We bit windy out there. Cool, few clouds, but mostly sunny. High expected to reach about 81 degrees. Right now it's 78 degrees with an overnight low of about 59 expected. Checking out your driving conditions in San Bernardino in the National Forest up in Big Bear. The uh, 18 is closed from Snow Valley to the Big Bear Dam. All lanes shut down both directions until 4 o'clock. So your alternate route there is the 38. And then through Chino, an accident is blocking the center lane. That's a crash involving a big rig 
right in the middle lane. Traffic is black, backed up from Euclid Avenue. So that is the very latest with news, weather, and traffic on the station that leaves no listener behind. KCAA, 1050 AM. KCAA invites you to join Dr. Donald Gabriel Jolly for What's It All About? He's never without words. I have an opinion about everything. He talks about everything. You can say I love you and be fired by the power of the crotch instead of the real meaning of love. You have an illness. It is called terminal acute Hornitis. Join Dr. Jolly for What's It All About? 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon on KCAA 1050 AM. Done really, really, really good. And you're not going to quit now. It's been a huge witness for us to be able to share that. It was time to get serious. Intentionality, people. <laughs> the success. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is your show, America. If I knew at 22, what I know now, our life would be better off. It's the show that's changing the world. Now you don't just listen to the show, you live it. Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host. This is your show, America. Thank you for joining us. Open phones as we talk about your life and your money. It is a free call at 888-825-5225. That's 888 888- 825-5225. Amy is with us in Cincinnati. Hi, Amy. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Great. Um, well, the big picture is I've been married over 25 years. Um, I've been pretending we're rich for most of those years, trying to keep everyone happy. Um, I've been juggling all the finances um, myself all these years. And this year, we had a change in, my husband had a change in jobs, and I realized we're a banana peel away from disaster. Um, I've been trying to do, I've been trying to get debt free for about two years, but I'm doing it on my own. My husband does not want to talk about money. Um, I keep trying to do it on my own. Um, now that I'm working, I'm putting so, everything so wait a minute. I when, make. When you say, that, when you say um, you're handling all the money, but he doesn't want to talk about it. Right. Okay. And so when you sit right. down and say, I need some help with this, what does he say? He says, maybe we should hire someone. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm just trying to... I see a future that in four years with your plan, we could have no debt. He could be, I'm 53, he's 55, you know, we could retire Mm -hmm. inspired and he doesn't really think that's um, something that's possible in life. Like Mm -hmm. you just work until you die and, Mm -hmm. you know, and it. Yeah, but he um, hasn't ever looked at the money. How the crap would he know anything about it? Right. And so. He really doesn't know what he makes or anything. I've always tried to keep everyone happy and make sure everyone has whatever. And we're at a point now with where. Yeah. Um, Have you noticed that nobody's happy when you try to keep everybody happy? Yeah. Well, it seems like everyone else is happy, but to be honest, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. You're, t- you're tired of being the only grown up in this house. Yeah. I've been trying to do the your new monthly. Um, it's not going to work. Tool. Right. It's not going to work. Right. You, you called me because you're out of emotional energy. You're tired of being his mom. Yes. You're tired of being his mother. And I know there are things like he would stress out about that. And oh, so, bless honest, his little heart. We He's a 55-year-old really man. He can't handle any stress when it's in his house. Bless his little yeah. heart. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not real feeling real sorry for this boy right now. Yeah. Well, part of it, I mean, I know I've kept it 
you know, I've kept control of it. And Yeah, you put um, up with this crap for 25 years being an enabler. Yeah, yeah. so you, can, yeah. you bear your part in it, too. But are you going to do something about it, or are you just going to whine about it? Well, um... Because you're going to have to call him on the carpet. I mean, this is unacceptable yeah. marriage behavior. The I, thing is, I mean, he has had a couple heart attacks, and I worry about the stress, and I worry about... <sighs> yeah, I mean, I just feel like, is it not possible? So let, let me ask you this. How many done? times do you think someone working on their budget has caused a heart attack? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, he's obviously stressed about something, or he doesn't yeah. take care of himself or something. Well, it's mostly, there's a huge family history of it. So, uh -huh. so he's in um, great physical condition and he has no stress at all. And he, oh, no, and he no. eats well. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, um, it's fine. I know that I'm an enabler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you are. And you're, just, you're just running the script out right here just perfectly. You really yeah. are. You guys need some. You, you, to... you guys need to sit down for some marriage counseling. And if he won't go, you need to go without him because you're going to have to get some help. Yeah. This is more than I can do in a radio call because everything, yeah. I'm, everything I'm bringing up, you're playing an enabler script for me. So, um, you re I mean, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean that to be mean. Uh, but yeah. he really does need to come along beside you, and uh, it won't cause him to have a heart attack, and it, he's going to be okay. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, you, you guys, because you're not going to be okay. You just yeah. called me and talked about this in front of 12 million people, how not okay you are. And if you go back to living like this, then it's nobody's fault but yours. So you have got to not be okay. Because, by the way, I'm here to tell you, this is not okay. This is not the proper way to handle your marriage. You're tired of being his mommy. And you're tired of trying to make all the little babies in the house be okay. And he's a 55-year-old baby. And he needs to man up and walk with his wife and make the decisions together about the good of this household. And that's what he needs to do. And um, I know that's how his mother did it. I don't care how his mother did it. I'm telling you what good, normal family relations are when they're functional and done properly. And that is is that both parties are involved in planning the future of the household. We both have a say. We both have a vote. We are both in conjunction. We're pulling the wagon together. I don't want to be Sharon's daddy. I don't want to be her sugar daddy. It's not cute to me. I actually want to be married to a full-on grown woman. And believe me, I am. <laughs> She has an opinion, <laughs> and I don't want to. And I don't want her to just take care of me. I mean, that, that's just that's that's just not the way you live your life, Amy. So you need to go call your pastor, and you need to sit down, and you need to in, enter into some marriage counseling. I'm guessing the little boy's not going to go at first, but you'll get some tools with the marriage counselor and how to draw him into that because you guys have got a really broken system here, and you're not happy. You're exhausted from carrying all these decisions by yourself. And I just want better for you than that. And I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's, he's gotten away with this crap for so long, it's, it's become normalized in his mind, and it's going to require a knock on the noggin to get his attention. It really is. And, but it's time for him to change. Old dogs can learn new tricks. Absolutely can. Thank you for the call. You know, I'm amazed the number of people I meet, um, sadly, that say things, whether they're 25 or they're 55 or they're 75, that's just the way I am. And I've got a good answer for you. If you ever say, that's just the way I am, let me help you with that. Change. Change how you are. You can decide today. I mean, there's a few things you can't decide. I can't decide to grow hair. It wouldn't help. It's not going to happen. But, you know, it's just the way I am. I just act that way. I have this attitude. It's just the way I am. You know, and so, so we're all supposed to put up with your crap. I mean, just the way you are. Yeah, change now. Ready, set, go. Change. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Learn the real truth about money, how to make it work for you, and how to keep more of it on Safe Money Talk with Rick Lee Wagg every Tuesday at 6 on KCAA. 
Join Michelle Skeen for Relationships 2.0. This week, her guest will be best-selling author Robert Moss of Sidewalk Oracles playing with sign, symbol, and synchronicity in everyday life. Moss will help you learn how to trust your feelings to bring enchantment into your everyday life. Don't miss Relationships 2.0 this Tuesday at 3 p.m. on KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. This is KCAA. Here's your Money Minute with Market Wrap host Mo Ansari. If you follow the markets, you've probably been getting seasick lately. But what if I told you that market volatility can be a good thing? If you're a bargain hunter, this is your coupon. So keep your shopping list handy. If you're a long-term investor with plenty of time before retirement, the money going into your 401k each month will buy more shares when the markets are down. And if you have a good financial plan, you can relax while others worry because that plan will carry you beyond today's headlines. Of course, you should should always consider professional guidance before making any financial decisions. That's your Money Minute. I'm Mo Ansari. For more tips on investing during market volatility and other investment topics, listen to Market Wrap weekdays at 5 p.m. on this station. For a free consultation with Mo Ansari, call 800-388-9700. That's 800-388-9700. Compact Asset Management is a registered investment advisor. Funds custodian, Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services, member FINRA SIPC. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company has been serving the greater Inland Empire for over 60 years. For all of your printing needs, from full-color printing to high-speed copying and everything in between, go to Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. Their staff is committed to your total satisfaction. Great service isn't just lip service at Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. It's the way they do business year after year. Having trouble finding drafting supplies? Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company still carries a complete selection. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company is rated high in customer satisfaction by Value Star, an independent rating company. For all of your personal or business printing, call Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company at 909-792-3478. That's 792-3478 or visit them on New York Street in Redlands off the I-10 and the Crosstown Freeway. If you're a business owner, retiree, or you are about to retire, then you can't afford to miss an episode of Safe Money Talk with Rick Lee Wack. Safe Money Talk is the show that bypasses the hype and hysteria and gives you the straight talk about threats to your life savings and how to build your fortress against threats such as higher taxes, inflation, and health care costs. Every Tuesday night from 6 to 7, author and financial expert Rick Leeweg will discuss the issues that have the potential to impact your retirement and business income. Starting at 6 p.m. only on KCAA. It took me three years. It was okay. uh, it was a long, long time, but it was wonderful. Okay. Well, we're honored that we were able to participate a little bit with a, a fellow radio uh, personality here. I love and, it. And you were able to see you turn this around, and uh, I'm glad we were a tiny part of that. You're yeah. The, you're the hero. I'm proud of you. All right. Joy from Nashville, $35,000 paid off in three years, <laughs> making 50000 a year. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, two, one. I'm debt free! Woo! <laughs> I love it! Woo-hoo! Well done, well done, well done. here in the lobby of Ramsey Solutions. Joe and Jackie are with us. Hey guys, how are you? Doing good. 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 Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. Where are you all from? Montana. Wow. What part of Montana? Coal Strip. Southeastern. Okay. Very cool. Near Billings then? Yep. All right. Good. Well, good to have you guys. Welcome, welcome. And you're here to do your debt-free scream. How much have you paid off? 
$70,999.46. Very cool. During how, how long did it take you to do that? 18 months. Wow. <laughs> Making what kind of money? At that time, 115 Okay. What do you guys do for a living? I'm an electrician at a power plant. Mm -hmm. And I um, was a receptionist at a fitness center. Mm -hmm. And since we've become debt-free, I've been able to step away from that and stay home with my son. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Good. And so what kind of debt was the 71000 Everything. Um, a bunch of signature loans at mm -hmm. the credit union. Mm -hmm. um, we have two older sons, mm -hmm. 22 and 20 now. Mm -hmm. And um, thought it'd be best for us to just go ahead and co-sign them some loans so they can get rolling. Mm -hmm. But um, we went ahead and took over all that when they graduated so they wouldn't go into the world debt mm -hmm. with a lot of debt. And that was some of it. Mm -hmm. The rest of it was a car. Um, just a, we never really were lucky to have credit cards because we had such bad credit <laughs> but we had everything else we but besides credit card and student loan it was just all kinds of signature loans gotcha okay and uh, so what happened 18 months ago that tell me your that launched you on this journey tell us tell us what happened um well actually i'm going to take you back about five years ago mm -hmm. um i was given the book your total money makeover and i read it mm -hmm. and um i wanted to start your program Joe was not on board, so I tried to do it myself, and that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, so then we um, had a child in 2013, mm -hmm. um, and uh, during pregnancy, we knew there was some complications, mm -hmm. and um, some friends of ours had invited us over for dinner mm -hmm. and gave us a substantial gift mm -hmm. um, because they said, you're going to need this when she's born. Mm -hmm. And we thought, wow, this is awesome. And... Uh, uh, they ended up um, so giving us a gift and then um, we had our daughter mm -hmm. and uh, uh, had complications and she lived for 65 days and our friends were right um, mm -hmm. we needed that money um, because we were flown to Denver at Children's and uh, had mm -hmm. no money <laughs> um, so that helped us and then Joe was about ready to buy a brand new truck after we got home $60,000 and mm -hmm. I was very uneasy about it, and those same friends told Joe that he was messing up and um, not to do that, and uh, they said, you know, the gift that we gave you was because of the Dave Ramsey, mm -hmm. and uh, so Matt McBride, which Matt and Bethany are mm -hmm. watching. our sponsors, <laughs> and they're watching, mm -hmm. um, they turned Joe onto it and have been our mentors ever since. Wow. So. And so that, that um, uh, you, when your baby passed... Um, that was about 18 months ago then, or about two years ago? Yeah. Okay. 2013. So kind of when you get up for, off the floor from that, because that just knocks your breath out of you for forever in a real way, but if, certainly for the first little while right after that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then you guys get in, you get into attack mode and go, okay, we're going to change this whole thing now. Right. Yep. Wow. So Joe, what flipped the switch for you? Well, when you got a buddy that tells you you're fixing to screw up... And he literally did that when I was showing him the truck that I was going to buy. I was building it, just waiting mm -hmm. for them to come out to market. And mm -hmm. um, Why did you trust him? He's been there and done it. Mm -hmm. He was a lot younger than me, mm -hmm. and um, they did it. They had success. And he'd already proven he cared about you with a gift. Yes. He and was so a church he kinda, friend. Kind of earned the right to speak into your life, didn't he? Right. Yeah, that's a good friend. We work together. We go to church together. We eat together. We, our families just meshed. Yeah. You don't have many good friends like that in this no. life. That's no. good. That's a good man. He's an awesome guy. Very cool. And uh, wow, what a great result. <laughs> they were able to bless you because they had gotten out of debt. They were lived like no one else. Now they're able to give like no one else. And then the, the, you go through this horrible tragedy. And uh, then off the back of that, the blessings start coming on the financial side. Wow. And we were blessed with a little boy here. and Yeah. Um, and how old is he? 17 months. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So right on the heels then. Right. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. Well, how does it feel to awesome. be debt-free? 
Awesome. I'm kind of still in shock. <laughs> you ought to be in shock that Joe knows this number to the penny. Yeah. I mean, he's he's all in. Oh, yeah. I mean, Joe's either all in or not all in. He, <laughs> he's not, yeah. nowhere in the middle with Joe. I'm, am I right, Jackie? That's it. Yes. Yeah, I, I can tell. I'm kind of the same way. That's why I can tell. All right. Very cool, you guys. Well, congratulations. So, what's your advice, Joe, to some guy out there whose wife's trying to get him to look at this stuff and, uh, you know... Talk to him about how, how this flipped the switch inside of you. You married her for a reason. And obviously it's because you loved her. So heed her warning when she says, hey, we need to do this. Four or five years ago when this all came up, I should have just said, yeah, let's, let's do it. We would have been in a whole different boat. Things would have been a lot different. But um, so what I got to say is listen to your bride mm. and um, work together. You're the man. I love it. That's beautiful. Well done. So, Jackie, what are the secrets to getting out of debt? You guys paid off $71,000 in 18 months. What's the secrets? Uh, budget. Stick to your budget. Um, and that's super hard for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we had some budget fights. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. No kidding. Yeah. Um, but it only took us like three months to really get a good budget and a good flow. And so... For me, it's sticking to the budget. I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations, you guys. Very proud of you. Sorry for the tragedy that you've been through, but uh, you've got blessings all around you in the midst of it. God is good. And he is all the time. <clears throat> wow. All right, Joe and Jackie from the Billings, Montana area. $71,000 paid off in 18 months, making 115 a year. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, two, one. We're debt-free! Wow! This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Man. Oh, man, oh, man. Wow. Well, if you want to retire inspired, Chris Hogan has a book coming out to help you do that. The book will be out the 1st of January, January the 11th, and uh, this book is incredible. It is just what you need to learn how to put your plan together to live your dream retirement. Whether you're 25 years old right now, whether you're 55 or 65 years old, you need to start where you are, and you need to start right now. And uh, now I know I'm trying to get you to buy a book that doesn't come out till January. So why, how am I going to get you to do that? Well, I'm going to bribe you. <laughs> if you pre-order the book right now for $19.99, 20 bucks, we're going to give you $70 worth of free bonus items. So... Retire Inspired ebook. When the book comes out in January, we're going to send you the ebook as well. We're going to send you the digital audio book, which if you've ever heard Chris Hogan, he, you can listen to that guy read the phone book. We'll have an all new video that we'll send to you immediately called Investing Basics, a guide to retirement budgeting ebook that we'll send to you immediately. And immediately we will send you my latest book, The Legacy Journey, in ebook version form. So you can buy the Retire Inspired book at Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, DaveRamsey.com, RetireInspired.com. doesn't matter where you buy it. Then you jump over to our website and make sure that you put in your proof of purchase and all, and we will hook you up with the $70 worth of extra goodies. The book is Retire Inspired by Chris Hogan. You need this book. Trust me. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM K293 CF Marino Valley. California Headline News. No significant damage or injuries from a small swarm of earthquakes in the Bay Area. A couple of 3.5 magnitude episodes in succession hitting areas north of Vallejo and south of San Jose. Some have been just a minor little shake and others have been a relatively big jolt. The, the, the windows were shaking and the, the little bit of the furniture were like falling over. Seismologists say there have been several earthquake swarms in that region over the past few decades. Some of them have lasted for months. Customers at a popular Bay Area restaurant end up hospitalized after getting a bad case of food poisoning. Morisco San Juan shut down after the health department received reports of 30 people getting sick with Shigella, a severe form of food poison. So Shigella is quite infectious. 
Um, and so if you have Shigella, you should not be taking care of children, taking care of elderly. Sarah Cody with the Santa Clara Health Department. 11 people in ICU. The Health Department investigating the outbreak, which could have been spread by an infected employee. Geico weather, dry conditions around the state, warming up in some areas. Jeff Scott, California News. Call Quicken Loans now at 800-QUICKEN to see if you qualify for the government's Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP. And for five years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction. And for the second year in a row, they've also ranked us highest in mortgage servicing. Call 800-QUICKEN or visit quickenloans.com. Visit jdpower.com for award information. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender, license in all 50 states, NMLSconsumeraccess.org, number 33. Kobe Keith, Good Times and Pickup Lines Tour. How do you like Presented by Ford F-Series, Saturday, November 7th, 7 p.m. at Laughlin Events Center. Toby Keith, Hellraiser Super Saver Reserve Seats, $20 while they last. Gotta love this American ride. Courtesy. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster, benefiting the USO. Welcomed by the Laughlin Tourism Commission. It's time for the KCAA Community Calendar, brought to you exclusively by Learn for Life, a growing network of public charter schools. The clear mission of Learn for Life is to motivate and mentor students who have dropped out of school and provide them with the personalized education and technical training necessary to advance their lives. Here's a look at the KCAA community calendar. I'm Di Rice. The fourth annual Eat and Be Well serves up free, fun food and much needed health services to Inland Empire's underserved populations. The annual Project Boone event draws hundreds of people together for a fun-filled day of feasting, music, and dancing. The fourth annual Eat and Be Well happens November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving at Seville Park in Fontana, beginning at 10 a.m. The goal of Eat and Be Well is to serve over 1,500 attendees and Eat and Be Well relies on donations to cover the cost of food items. Eat and Be Well also serves up long-term health and wellness by partnering with other nonprofits that have programs to help the underserved population. You can contribute or sign up to volunteer at Eat and Be Well's website or you can drop off canned food like sweet potatoes, corn, green beans and cranberry sauce at Cowboy Burgers and Barbecue in Rancho Cucamonga. For more information, visit www.eatbe.com well.org and help put the giving into Thanksgiving with the fourth annual Eat and Be Well celebration. Again, go to www.eatbewell.org and be a part of the giving this holiday season. That's a look at the community calendar on KCAA 1050 AM and 106.5 FM. The KCAA community calendar is presented exclusively by Learn for Life, a growing network of public charter schools where students can complete their education on a part-time basis. To find a resource center nearest you, call 1-877-360-LEARN or visit Learn for Life online at learn4life.org. We found the problem with your car. Um, Turns out the uh, carburetor differential modulator is out. What? And while we were digging around in there, this thing fell off. Stop. There's no automotive repair nightmares at Diego Martinez's Five Star Automotive in San Bernardino. Five Star Automotive, where you'll get a great experience and home of the $15.99 oil change. That's right, just $15.99. They specialize in transmissions, brake repair, AC, and many other repairs, all with a lifetime warranty on parts and labor. Diego knows when your auto needs five star attention. It's never convenient. He offers a 12-month interest fee auto repair loan on major auto repairs with no money down. He even throw in free towing and a 10% discount for his neighbors in the 909 who work for the city and county of San Bernardino. Call 909-387-0770. That's 387-0770. Your neighbors at 909 West 2nd Street in San Bernardino. For those of you traveling by air to celebrate this holiday season, LA Ontario International Airport wants you and your family to have a fun Woo! and safe trip for your convenience. Remember, TSA travel rules are for your safety and those of others. LA Ontario International Airport reminds you to arrive early and check with your airlines for flight delays or cancellations. ONT offers 62 daily flights to 15 non-stop western cities. This year, oh, 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 
Santa brings your airport the pause pet assisting with smiles stress relief program. So make sure to stop and pause a while, then sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. For more airport information, please visit us at lawa.org. We know you're there. We can hear you talking on AM 1050 KCAA. show. Megan is with us in New York City. Hi, Megan. How are you? Hi. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up in your world? Um, um, we're getting $78,000 from inheritance from my husband's side of the family. Mm-hmm. We just don't know what to do with it. We had, we're $30,000 in debt. Um, he was looking to go into a real estate house that he found for like $70,000, mm-hmm. a single family, small. Mm-hmm. And I was looking to see if we can move up in car mm-hmm. for me and the kids, like an SUV. So we don't know what to do, whether to save the money, mm-hmm. the extra money that we have left over, or invest it in IRA, or just invest in a real estate. Okay. I don't think you have the money to invest in real estate because you, by the time you pay off the That's debt, what you're, I thought. by the time you pay off the debt, you only have forty grand left, right? Exactly. Yeah. Are you gonna? Do you want to be out of debt? Yes. We definitely do. We've been working on your stuff. Okay, you've been living on a budget? Yes, we are. You're working towards getting out of debt? Definitely, because we have a loan in the bank, and since this extra money came, both we're of looking you? to pay off all our debt. Both of you? Both. Both. Okay. Then but I he was just wondering whether to invest it in real estate, because he's scared that you know no. he doesn't make enough money at work. No, you pay off your debts. And that's your fastest way to building wealth is to get out of debt and then use that money to build wealth with. Um, and and then you, you're going to move up to an SUV. What's your current car worth? Uh, maybe 8000 maybe less. Uh, what's, what's your household a, what's income? Car? What's your household income? Uh, maybe like 43000 50, a year. Mm-hmm. Let's see, he makes like 1600 okay. a month maybe. Okay. And... Um, a thousand six hundred a month is not fifty three thousand a year. No, well, I have I make some money too, so it's like a thousand, two thousand. So when you do your taxes, it comes out like fifty five thousand a year. Right. Okay. Right. All right, and then so you have an eight thousand no mortgage. You have an eight thousand dollar car, and how much do you do? How much is his car worth? Uh, no, he just has a used car. I'm driving his old car, which is a how much your car is worth you know, eight thousand. Right. And what's his car worth? His car is worth like 2000 okay, He drives so you, like old beat-up van. I got you. So you have $10,000 worth of cars. Well, you don't want cars worth more than half your annual income. So the total of your cars don't need to be more than 25000 So if you move up an SUV from an $8,000 car, it's not going to be much. Maybe move to a 12000 yeah, Maybe like a $12,000 like $12, SUV. Okay. So you yeah, sell the 8000 So you only need 4000 for that. So now you're debt free and you pay four thousand dollars to move up an SUV and you have an emergency fund built in of three to six months of expenses, which is going to be fifteen thousand or more. Right. Okay. And that's not to be touched for anything but for emergencies. Um, I think we've right. used most of your money at that point. If we haven't, then you would go do a Roth IRA. A Roth IRA. Yes. That's what I told him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After he wanted real estate in No. No, well, he doesn't have the money to real estate. You can't, buy, you can't buy a house for fifteen thousand dollars. You know, you're going to go turn around, and go back into that. He wanted to take all the money. He wanted to take all the money instead of paying all the bills and yeah. just put it into the real estate. Bad idea. Okay, I was right. Okay, yeah, you were right. You win the argument. Atlanta, Doug is calling. Hi, Doug. How are you? I'm good, uh, Dave. How you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, um, Dave, I, I I think my 
father is is being scammed, and I think he's paying these people a lot of money, and I'm not sure how to stop it. Mm. How old is he? He's 73. Is he in his right mind? Yeah, I, I thought so until he seemed to be convinced that this scam was real. Mm. What is the scam? Um, I, I, best I can determine, Dave, he's been getting these calls from an area code from Jamaica. Oh, my and, God. And I think it's some sort of, uh, you know, I've heard about these Jamaican lottery scams where yeah. they yeah. tell you you've won a whole bunch of money. You just got to send them some mm-hmm. money in return. And, and I think he's convinced that it was real. And he sent them and, money. Well, I think he sent them a lot of money. Oh, no. Um, and I don't know if I've had people suggest to me that I might need to try to get a power of attorney to try to take over his finances or well, the only way you're going to do that is if he gives it to you or you right. have him declared mentally incompetent against his will by getting I a don't doctor. Really, yeah. By getting I don't a really doctor. want to do that. Well, I mean, he, he's going through his money by, and this, there's no question what you're describing is a scam. Um, is there I how mean, much money is he? Lawyer? How much money is he sent to this Jamaican lottery? Well, he he won't talk to me about it. Um, all he says is is that it's under control. And um, but I, I know through some folks I've talked to that he's three months behind on his house payment. Um, when we last visited him, he had sold a motorcycle that he owns. Mm. Um, and um. I do know that there is a federal mail fraud investigator that's involved, and he said that he has evidence that he's sent them hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, my God. <sighs> and this, this could have been going on for as long as a year. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you've really only got uh, three alternatives. One is hands off and whatever happens, happens. Two is to sit down with him and convince him to come clean with you and to turn his finances over to you. Or three is to uh, have him declared against his will uh, mentally incompetent. And I, I don't I mean, know. I don't know if he is mentally incompetent. He might just be. Well, I mean, I, he might just be naive. I think he's just naive. I, I I don't really honestly believe him to be mentally incompetent. I think he's just. Yeah. These folks, but here's the thing: he's convincing. stonewalling you, so he's not letting you in. You don't have a say in this scenario. How are you going to get a say? Uh, that's that's the problem. My yeah. sister and I have been talking about this, and you know, unless he opens up to us and comes clean, there's not much we can do. That's exactly right. And I think you go sit down with him face to face and tell him that. Um, but I think deep down he knows it's a scam, but, mm-hmm. but I think, you know, mm-hmm. the minute he admits that, then he mm-hmm. has to uh, accept the fact that he's lost all this money. Yeah. Yeah. The money's gone. And I would sit down if it were, if it were my family member, what I would do is sit down with him face to face and you can blame it on me if you want. Tell him you talk to me and I said 100% it's a scam. I talked to Dave Ramsey, and he said that. Dad, I've talked to the mail fraud guy. He says you've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Dad, you got to own this because I'm really worried about you, and I don't need any of the money. I'm not here for the money. I- I'm right. here to help you because I'm worried about you. I think you've gotten yourself into a mess, and you're afraid to come clean because you're afraid you're going to look stupid, and I think you've gotten scammed, Dad, and I think we need to talk about it, and I want to help you. And if he stonewalls yeah. you at that point, there's not a lot you can do. Yeah, and unfortunately, I've I've almost already had that exact same conversation with him, and the result I get is, uh, you know, I've got everything under control. Yeah, then there's nothing you can do because okay. it's not it's well, not against the law to be stupid in America. Yeah, you know, and it's the hardest thing in the world to watch our loved ones do stupid things to themselves and not be I willing just, to take input. I just never dreamed my dad would that was that gullible. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Other than praying for him and and praying for someone to intersect his life that will get his attention because you haven't been able to, uh, is there someone that he does trust that he would listen to that would be able to bonk him on the head and wake him up? An uncle, a brother, uh, a pastor? Who is it that he looks up to that if you called him and said, hey, go talk to my dad, he's killing himself over here? Yeah, I mean, my, my... 
my aunt, who's his sister, has talked to him. Um, you know, myself and my, my sister have talked to him, but... Uh, I, I may have a couple other folks in mind that might could, could get to him. I just keep firing bullets at him in the form of people until he uh, until he listens. Uh, you know, you can keep trying that, but I just the sad thing is there's just no magic formula to making somebody that's hard headed listen. If there was, I guess I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> this is the Dave Ramsey Show. Learn the real truth about money, how to make it work for you, and how to keep more of it on Safe Money Talk with Rick Leewag every Tuesday at 6 on KCAA. Here's a date you'll want to save. Sowing Seeds for Life is kicking off their third annual Monster Run Walk to Fight Hunger on Sunday, October 25th at the Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario. It's a 1K, 5K, and you're welcome to dress up like your favorite monster or just let the kids dress up. The important thing is to come join Sowing Seeds. They have lots of prizes and even a costume contest for the kids. Remember, every dollar you raise will stay here in the community and help feed kids and families in need. This is KCAA. What have I learned so far? I've learned that dropping out of high school was my decision. But as a single mom, that decision affected more than just me. To set an example, I had to be the example. I found a free high school diploma program at Learn for Life that fits around my busy life. I have a team of teachers, tutors, and counselors that really care. I learn at my pace in an environment that is safe and comfortable. What have I learned so far? I've learned that I can change my life. Are you 14 to 19 years old and looking for a free high school diploma program with flexible meeting times? This program allows you to keep your job or important family responsibilities while earning your high school diploma. If you've fallen behind on credits or dropped out of school completely, get back on track with free tutoring, a caring faculty, and one-on-one attention. For more information on how to reach your graduation goal, visit learnforlife.org. That's L-E-A-R-N, the number four, L-I-F-E dot O-R-G. Or Enroll today by calling 877-360-LEARN. That's 877-360-LEARN. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company has been serving the greater Inland Empire for over 60 years. For all of your printing needs, from full-color printing to high-speed copying and everything in between, go to Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. Their staff is committed to your total satisfaction. Great service isn't just lip service at Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company. It's the way they do business year after year. Having trouble finding drafting supplies? Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company still carries a complete selection. Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company is rated high in customer satisfaction by Value Star, an independent rating company. For all of your personal or business printing, call Redlands Blueprint and Commercial Printing Company at 909-792-3478. That's 792-3478 or visit them on New York Street in Redlands off the I-10 and the Crosstown Freeway. As the owner of my business, I wear a lot of hats. I'm accounting, sales, and so much more. But I don't know marketing. Let Dex Media be your marketing department. Our team can create a digital plan for you with everything from search to social. Contact Dex Media, that's D-E-X Media, to get found, get chosen, and get talked about. Whoa, that's a job for cleanup, which would be me. Call 844-230-3436 or visit DexMedia.com today. K-C-A-A. Ramsey Solutions. Mike and Heather are with us. Hey guys, how are you? Hey Dave, how's it Better going? Better than we deserve. <laughs> I love it. Good to have you. Where are you guys from? 
Minneapolis, Minnesota. Very cool. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And you're here to do your debt-free scream. How much have you paid off? $65,803.21. I love it. (laughs) Very cool. And how long did that take you? Six years. Six years. Six Six months and 13 days. (laughs) <laughs> mm, wow, You're making what kind of money during that time? Um, starting at just over 29000 and currently at 65000 Doubled your income during oh. that time. More than doubled it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very well done. So what kind of debt was the 66000 Majority of it was student loans. Um, there was about 3500 we owed in personal debt, and the rest of it was just straight student loans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, six years is a long time, y'all. Yeah, man, you've been scratching and clawing for a while. Yes. So, uh, what, what was, what's the story? How did this all happen? Well, uh, it's kind of funny actually. This started for me in two thousand and seven. A friend of mine told me about you, and at the time, I said, you know, if, if there's dirt on Dave, I'll, I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> if he's crazy, I'll figure it out, and you know, I don't have to worry about it. And I started researching on what you taught, and um, I had actually paid off my first credit card before I started the class the following spring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I met Heather shortly after that, and yeah, uh, when her parents said we had to uh, take your class to get engaged, and so we did that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we finished April of 2009, and we got engaged end of May of 2009, and mm-hmm. then got married in October of 2009. Very yeah. cool. Good. Yeah. And so you began the whole debt snowball thing, living on a budget, the whole process, mm-hmm. but you weren't making a ton of money. So yeah. when did the income go up? Ooh, uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay, so most of the six years you've been doing this on a like a thirty thousand dollar income. Yeah, yes. yeah, I've been getting raises every year, but you know we had a big jump last last summer. So. Okay, we paid off my student loans in the last twelve months. Okay, boom, just like that. So yeah. kind of on the end here, there was a like a blow up, a breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. cool. That's pretty incredible that you stuck with something six years. Most people can't stay with stuff six minutes. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, what do you tell people the key to getting out of debt is? Stay focused. Um, yeah, stay focused, and when you screw up, just keep going. Yeah. Because, you know, six years is a long time. We had Heyman in the time of that. and We got married. We had cars explode. Yep. Yeah, you know, and you, you just have to keep going when things bad things happen. Yeah, just keep plowing through, get back up, do it again, get back up, do it again, right? Yep, exactly. Wow. Well, congratulations, you two. What do you tell people the key to getting out of debt is? That's focus, mm. that's stick to it, that's the whole thing? It's pretty much it, and don't be afraid to screw up. You know, you, you screw up, you, you just keep going, and you try again. Okay, because here we are today, standing here debt-free. That's yeah. right. How's it feel? Amazing. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that's very weird. I after, love it. After yeah. six years, we're like, you know what? We need to actually have a family vacation and go see Dave. Wow. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored you picked this as a stop. Very cool. All right. Mike and Heather from Minneapolis. $66,000 paid off in six years, making 29 now all the way up to 65 here lately. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, two, one. We're debt-free! Very well done. Very well done. Open phones at 888-825-5225. You jump in. We'll talk about your life and your money. Jordana is with us in Detroit. Hi, Jordana. How are you? Hi, good. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I am 24 years old. I'm in baby step two. I'm hoping to be done in February. And um, I got engaged last month, and I was hoping to be debt-free by the wedding next summer. Um, my fiancé has some student loans. And he uh, received an inheritance a couple of years ago when his uncle passed away. So I was telling him that I think he should pay off his student loans with that. And then I also wanted to ask you about a future home slash an investment property. Mm-hmm. How much of an inheritance did he get? Uh, 400000 And how much student loans does he have? 30000 Okay. And why has he not paid off his student loans? Um, I guess his thought process was, um, well, right now he doesn't have full control of the stuff in the trust. 300000 of it is in a trust right now. Um, when do, when does he get control? 35 But he can request um, it to be paid off. He's thinking that it's growing right now, being such a large sum of money, that if he takes 
the 30,000 away right now that, I don't know. Yeah, dumb. Okay, really dumb. Uh, yeah, I mean, he he ha he has access to a hundred thousand of it or not? Um, he has invested that with his financial advisor. Yeah, so pull it out and pay off your student loans today. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And borrow on student loans to be investing. Yeah. That's effectively what he's done. And yeah. then your question about using the money to invest in real estate later after you're married—is that your other question? Um, yeah, we're not. Um ready to buy a house yet because we don't know if we'll stay in the area but um as far as like a a rental property would you buy that in cash or i wouldn't buy a rental property unless i bought it in cash but i think you need to buy a home and pay cash for it first okay so, so i would use this money ready. to pay cash for your first home and then you don't have a house payment and the two yeah. of you when you're married have a combined income then that you use to build up investments that then you can use to buy paid for rental property with Okay. But basically, um, you've got $370,000 left after these student loans. I'm hoping he already has an emergency fund. Yeah, yeah, okay. he has savings. All right, so there's $370,000. That'll buy a pretty nice home whenever you guys get married and decide to settle down, decide where you're going to settle down. Um, yeah. But that's, yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Um Pay cash for my first house and make sure I have an emergency fund. Make sure you're funding Roth IRAs and uh, then begin to use what was all of this debt payments to build up wealth and use that wealth that you built up on your own and you're in control of um, to use that wealth uh, uh, to, to buy and pay cash for rental properties. Rom is in Indianapolis. Hi, Rom. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you, Dave. Nice talking to you. You too. Uh, I recently started listening to you, and uh, I'm a little confused right now because I started listening to you. <laughs> so I want to verify my plan. Um, my plan is to start a company in the next two to three years. I'm currently employed. I am, I'm a software engineer, and uh, I'm debt-free. Uh, I don't have any debts, uh, no student loan. And the only debt I have is my mortgage. And I saved up my cash, about 150 k And my plan was to buy a rental property so that I have some passive income and I quit my job or take a part-time job, part job while, I'm, uh, you know, while I'm developing my company. Do you have a home uh, mortgage now? Uh, mark, um, I... My home is worth about 380k, and my market is about 300k. What, that's what left it. I'm, I'm left with 300k. So, so you owe how much on your home? 300. 300,000, and you have 150,000 saved, and yeah. you want to buy a rental property, and you and while you're starting a business. As a passive income. Yeah, no, I would not do that. I would use the okay. 150 to start some of it to start the business, and I'd start paying down on the mortgage as fast as I could with some of the rest of it, and uh, and let because you're your best income source. You've already proven that. You've already saved 150 grand. You've already got a 300 thousand dollar property. You know you, you're your best source. You're the secret sauce, Rom. Um, and so no, uh, uh, you, you don't. You wouldn't borrow on your home to buy a rental property to create passive income. At least I wouldn't suggest you would. And this has the same, exact same balance sheet effect of doing that as what you're describing. So, not the way I would go, sir. Uh, instead, I'd use the money to start the business and pay down on the mortgage. Get the house paid off as fast as possible and then move towards paid for rental properties. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. For those of you traveling by air to celebrate this holiday season, LA Ontario International Airport wants you and your family to have a fun Woo! 